Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, we talk all things home education in the United Kingdom and neurodivergent family life and all things that come with being a mum to three children. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me that you are still here. So this, I touched on this a while ago in another video when I was talking about, I did like a big clean, didn't I? And like, oh, I have not really made much headway with the whole let's get this sorted in the house situation. You might be able to see the clutter behind me. I have decided <laughs> maybe to embark on a journey to minimalism. Now, I do not think that I'm going to get there, but I'm going to give it a go. Now, um, I sometimes feel like min I'm not really a huge fan of minimalism because I feel like it looks empty and that like conjures up feelings that maybe I don't want to sit with. And I think maybe that's I just need to sit with them. I just need to get over it. So I recently had, I just was having a really, really bad day and I had, went out for a walk with a friend uh, with our children and the dogs and just things had been going, just lots of things have been getting on top of me. And one of the big things that when other things in my life are getting on top of me, the house being messy and cluttered just makes it a million times worse. And my friend was telling me how she understood how I was feeling. She feels exactly the same about her house and that she gets her mum to come and give her a hand, decluttering stuff. And she recently just threw away loads of their stuff and she doesn't miss it. And she was like, you should do it too. And I was like, I know I should, but it's scary. And about, I ended up getting really upset. And once she'd comforted me, comforted me and calmed me down, I got stung by a wasp, just like out of the blue, stung by a wasp just here on my neck. Um, it landed on my jumper and I just turned and it stung me. And I was devastated. I was like, just another thing. And I've actually had another day like that today, actually, just one after another thing went wrong. Dog food got spilled, like it fell out, like literally it just got knocked out of my hand. I had a protein shake and a mug and I knocked it over and it went all over the wall. And then um, my one of my dog's leads broke and then my one of my sons cut his finger. I was just like, are you joking? And it was, that was one of those days. And I just cried and cried and cried. My friend was like, oh, Emma, what can I do? And, and I was like, and she said, should we just go back to yours? And I was like, we can't, it's a mess. And she said, then we'll help you tidy it. And what an amazing friend. Just wow. And I have another friend who's done that for me before in the past. She's been like, come on, I'm going to come around. I'm going to help you tidy up. I'm going to declutter some stuff. We're going to get rid of it. I'm going to give you a hand. And I think it's just, I'm so lucky to have people like that in my life. I have other friends too that whilst they might be physically unable to come and help they will video call me or they will chat me through they'll like make me send them my sister will video call me and we'll do stuff uh, I'll do stuff while I'm in the house while she's on a video call with me she's just distracting me so I can just keep going and another friend will make me send her before during and after pictures to be like send me another picture send me another picture to kind of keep me accountable and I just I'm so lucky to have such wonderful friends and uh if they are listening they know who they are because they'll know what they've done and my friend and I threw away six bin bags of stuff and I can even tell you what was in there like we just threw it away and I felt so much lighter there's some sides that have been cluttered for months that we just cleared right up and there's still stuff that needs to be sorted and um baskets were things that need to be have like have just been put and I need to sort those into where they're gonna live but I think I might declutter them again because there's I don't think I've gone to any of those baskets since we decluttered them I might just get rid of them too um, so I said to her, I've got a spare room of doom and, um, and I need to sort it out. It's a nightmare. Like the things that I, um, <laughs> getting late. um, things that I want to declutter from other areas of the house, um, and things that I want to keep, like I want to be able to use the spare room to film in, so I'm not always sewing in here, so I can have it always set up, but I also want to be able to do my crafts in there, like my sewing, uh, that sort of thing, and, and I've got this beautiful desk to go in there, and I just can't use it, um, and I said I don't, obviously don't need any of the stuff in there, because I, the door's been shut for the best part of a month, and I've not even gone in there, and, um, before then we couldn't get in it for 
at least a month and a half if not two months like you literally because it was up stuff was up to the door uh, I was like it just needs to go it just needs to go all of it needs to go so my friend said to me okay let's do it we're gonna have a day uh, I will come and I will spend the morning with you and we'll just do as much as we can together while Phil's there to look after the kids and keep them out of the way look after the dogs and everyone's out of the way we'll just go through it roll big roller bin bags and we'll just keep going for like two hours and and see where see where we go so we're gonna do it on Sunday and I'm really excited about having this beautiful room to decorate in a really nice way and to be able to film my videos in there and do my work, make my printables for you guys and all of that sort of thing. So I'm really, really excited about it. Um, but I know there's a long haul to get there and I am going to share some footage at the end of this video of our before, during and after of getting this room done. Full accountability, full disclosure, full raw this is what my spare room looks like I know that some of you watching will have a spare room like I do and I just want you to know that if I can do it so can you me and mum who's probably got ADHD who has gosh knows what else going on with her brain uh who has three neurodiverse kids who's got nine animals I'll do a video about that in another day um not in the house, two of them are not in the house, two of them are horses, um, and so much going on recently right on my schedule to do another video, and <laughs> it's insane, um, if I can do it, you can do it, so I have an invitation for you, inspired by some other creators who I love, and by my sister-in-law who's just completed one, I have made a 30-day decluttering challenge, and we're going to do it together, I am going to share videos on TikTok um, and I think I might do it on Instagram of me decluttering the items in the list and what I am challenging you is to go to my shop link in the description download the free absolutely free 30 day decluttering challenge printable printable and do it with me and I would like you I'm we need to keep each other accountable okay ladies and I say ladies because my um I check my analytics you are a hundred percent ladies who are watching this channel and I love that all girls together absolutely love it so ladies let's do this um and I know that some, I say that ladies I say ladies but I'm also aware that some people um maybe non-binary so ladies there we go mixed you together there we go. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it together. I want you, I'm going to post on Instagram. I think I'm going to post on Instagram, not TikTok, because it's, it's easier. So I'm going to post on Instagram, me decluttering stuff, and I'm going to do a hashtag, Adventure All The Way 30 Day. And that is your hashtag. I would like you to hashtag me too, and then I will find the hashtag and I will see it. We're all going to declutter together. We're going to get rid of all of our stuff, all of our clutter that is making us all miserable. Because let's face it, it's making you miserable too, isn't it? Otherwise you won't be watching this video to this point. 30 day clut decluttering challenges. A double dog dare you. Now you have to do it. You have to do it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. If you could buy it again, the rules are of the decluttering challenge. If you could buy it again easily, either financially or just because it's readily available, then you don't need it. Okay. If you've used it in the last three months, then you're allowed to keep it. As long as you can find somewhere to put it. If you're gonna use it in the next three months, then you can keep it. As long as you can find somewhere to put it. Or not all of those things are void if it's heavily sentimental. So for example, do have I snuggled with my childhood teddies in the last three months? No. Am I going to in the next few months? Also no. Could I buy them again? Absolutely not. Are they heavily sentimental? Yes. So am I going to keep them? Also yes. Um, the mugs that say cracking Christmas and we wish you a Merry Christmas that are chipped. Uh, we don't celebrate Christmas anyway because we're pagan. We haven't, we're not going to celebrate Christmas at all anymore because we celebrate Yule. Uh, do we need to keep those? Absolutely not. Could I buy bigger plain mugs that we could decorate with Yule on them? Absolutely, yes. Would that be a fun home ed activity? Yes, it would. So we could get rid of those. We could replace them because so we're not getting a chapped lip every time we drink at them. Because who wants that? That sort of thing, right? 
So I am calling you like and subscribe. Go to my store, download the free printable so we can do the challenge. Then I want you to be accountable. Share pictures with me. Tag me. Do the hashtag Adventure All The Way 30 Day. Let's do it together. Let's get rid of all of the clutter that is cluttering up our houses and then in turn cluttering up our minds. Let's do it. It's mental health, mental health, physical health, and just being, just finding moments of joy because you cannot find moments of joy if your brain is full of stuff because your house is full of stuff. So let's do it. Let's do it. As I said, double dog dare you, which means you have to. Okay. Also, I'm going to be keeping on how many people download it. So if it doesn't correspond with the amount of people that have watched this video, you're in trouble. There you go. So like and subscribe, download the declutter challenge and tag me and use the hashtag 30, Adventure All The Way 30 Day. Let's declutter stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you very soon. Take care. Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. Whoopsie. <laughs>